Thank you for joining us. You can join our social media platform, Champions TV Kenya. And today in the studio we have uh, Pastor Wise, and we have a very nice talk. This is Prayer Warrior Program, where we are ready to make you a prayer warrior. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Pastor Wise, yes. you can start from where you are about God and Noah. Something yes. happened there. Oh, please help me to go to the book of Genesis 8, verses 20. Genesis 8, verses 20. There is where we were. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord mm -hmm. and took of every clean animal mm -hmm. and of every clean bird mm -hmm. and offered burnt offering on the altar. Mm -hmm. And the Lord smelled a soothing aroma. Mm -hmm. Then the Lord said in his heart, mm -hmm. I will never again mm -hmm. cast the ground mm -hmm. for man's sake. Although the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth, mm -hmm. nor will I again destroy every living thing as I have done. Thank you. God bless you. Now, you see, God regretted mm -hmm. after this man had built an only altar and had sacrificed mm -hmm. and only sacrifice. So it means when we offer our, our, our sacrifice and offering, they, they, they must be holy before him. So you cannot, you cannot, uh, you cannot offer a sacrifice which is a despising sacrifice to the Lord. And you expect the Lord, God Almighty, to accept it. Right? Now, he regretted why he did so. Because if he could have gotten somebody before he had done so, before he had destroyed, destroyed the earth eh, by flood, then he could, he could destroy the, uh, the earth. If, if Noah could give, uh, could offer the sacrifice, the only sacrifice to the Lord before the destruction of the, uh, of the earth, then the earth and the people, everything which was on, the, on, on, on planet earth could not be destroyed, right? Now, I want, I want to go deeper. Uh, I want to go deeper uh, concerning a godly halter. Right, an altar it is not a place. It is not a play, a playground. Yeah, a holy altar. The Bible says it is where the 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 the, the presence of God dwells. Look at Moses. When when God told Moses in the book of Exodus thirty five is uh, thirty five uh, verses one is from verses one when God had gone to Mount Sinai. He stayed with the, with the uh, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for 40 nights and 40 days, right? And God was giving Moses instructions on how to build an altar. So the moment he built an altar, there was a, a place called Holy of Holies where she, the Shekinah Guruli used to dwell. There was a place called, uh, uh, there was a place called, um, uh, there, there was a, a place in that altar called an inner, inner altar. I'm an inner, 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 inner altar. An uh, inner altar, it was where the servants or the priest used to do his duties, like praying for sacrifice and all that. Right, standifying people and uh, doing all the works of the priest. Then there was an altar that uh, that is uh, sorry, an altar which was called uh, outer, outer altar, whereby when you come with your sacrifice, you were supposed to leave that sacrifice there, and then you go, you settle your de disputes with your brothers and your sisters. Then you come back for the sacrifice, right? Now, when, when God gave Moses all this uh, instruction, yeah? remember when, when Moses was born, Abraham had lived before. So Moses is the only prophet who had been given instruction by the Lord 
to do what to build an altar abram was meeting with the, with the god face by face god used to send his angels to come to to abram god used uh, noah through the, the through angels he used angels god spoke even god spoke to noah a uh, voice uh, 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 he spoke to to noah face to face right now we need to understand when we have only altars we have raised only altars before god that is i've said we raise altars uh, co- uh, according to the word of god and only uh, only altar is being raised according to the god of the bible okay so when we talk about uh, when we talk about uh, an only altar the altar whereby we give our sacrifices whereby we offer our our offering we are talking about the altar which we give our sacrifices to our father who is in heaven okay now an altar speaks about your future you are the altar that you are serving the altar that you are serving the altar that you are you are giving your sacrifice the altar that you are offering your offerings right speaks about your future speaks about your your life okay an altar it is whereby it is we call it a place of exchange you come and worship the lord through the spirit uh, through through his spirit and then god gives you or gives gives birth to your destiny through altar it is where destiny destinies are being birthed when you serve the lord you get whatever that you need all right when you look at when god created a man first thing he told the man the seventh day where we, uh, the day where, uh, the day whereby god rested he said this is my day god said to a man this is my day so you gonna worship me in this day so that was the first instruction when god created a man and he created a man so that they may have fellowship okay now the first thing that we are supposed to do before we do before we are not engaged to any other uh, work or any other other responsibility first of all we need to worship the lord god of might and we need to worship him in an holy altar and when we go there we need to have a sacrifice to offer before him because god speaks when an only altar has been offered okay most of the time when you look at the, uh, when you look at the bible most of the time god was speaking when an only uh, an only sacrifice has been offered that is when god uses used to speak all right so uh, what what is what is what is the importance of 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 giving a uh, sacrifice number 1 sacrifice makes god happy number 2 sacrifice makes god uh, uh, to feel a good aroma he receives that sacrifice as a good aroma and when you know god does it eat but when we sacrifice the best sacrifice he received that sacrifice as a good aroma and that is when when his heart is happy that is when we receive our blessings thank you very much for watching us viewers we are just in the introduction part i know there's something that you are learning slowly by slowly i don't know the altar that you are serving but one thing i have learned today is that an altar can speak on your behalf if you are serving the demonic altar that is what will be speaking in your life 
If you're serving God the altar, that's what will be speaking in your life. The thing is, what are the consequences of the altar that you are serving? If you're not serving the altar of God, this one thing I'll tell you, you miss internal life. If you're serving demonic altar, this one thing I'll tell you, that fire is waiting you. Hell is waiting for you. The thing is, if you're not born again and you've not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior, it is the high time you get born again. You can go ahead and find a pastor or a minister of the gospel and tell him or her that you want to give your life to Christ before you perish. Hell is real as heaven is real. We we'll continue to know more about altars and the consequences of the altars we serve. Till next time, this is Champions TV Kenya. I am your host, Susan Gideji. See you next time. She's a prayer.